So folks, we're finally back here in Car for Sale Simulator, and we need 10 million dollars because I think the update is coming really soon. So for a second there, I think the dev went on like holiday, according to the Discord, and I was thinking, oh my goodness, I don't have anything to do in here while we uh, kind of wait, since we've done most things in the game, but I realized I need more money. Like I need to be at, I would say at least 10 million. I know the junkyard update's gonna be a thing and then the building of the car dealership's gonna be a thing. So I wanna make sure we're as prepped as possible. So we're just gonna go buy some high-end cars. Uh, let's get stuff uh, repaired here. If you guys are excited for the return of this on the channel, uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below with maybe some challenges that we can do here in the future uh, while waiting. Uh, no, we're not selling the GTR or the Mazda. Even though, like, for sure I wouldn't get rid of this. Honestly, the Mazda, I don't actually really care about. It was just the whole fact that it was a rare car. But speaking of, I think I have cars even stacked over here that I need to move over to the main lot. But yeah, uh, there was actually an update that just came out. I believe it was more like a bug fix uh, style update. Uh, and that's when I was like, okay, they're back at it. Uh, we're going to hopefully get a major update here really soon. Oh yeah, it's been a while. Also, who gets a Ferrari in this color? Is this silver or is it like a brown? Maybe it's just so dirty like my, my GTR. Oh my goodness, my poor GTR is really, really dirty. Hey, I'm going to need to get in here real quick. Um, can you please move out of the way? Uh, I got to really soup this car up. Honestly, it looks like it has like the default like Ferrari rims. Like They look pretty darn close to them. Uh, but we want to go ahead and put the racing kit on here. Uh, it's already dropped all the way, so it's set nice. Uh, I don't care about any of this. Now, I think I'm going to keep the wheels on. Honestly, this will probably sell pretty good as is. Uh, I do want to go paint it, though. Let's go paint it. Uh, I would do Ferrari red, but it seems like I do that quite a bit, so maybe we're going to try a different color here. Let's see. What would you not expect a Ferrari to be in? Like, I've seen green. I've seen blue. Uh, is, isn't Ferrari like really, really, really like particular about what color you can do? One of the, the car manufacturers actually goes after people for modifying. Maybe it's not Ferrari. I could be wrong. Also, what in the heck happens there? Dude, honestly, that came out really cool. Let's clean it real quick. Like when you like chromed it up here. Whoa, that that's a color and a half there. Like at first I was like, oh my goodness, it's a pink car, which, you know, I, I don't think I'd buy a pink car, but... Uh, when we clean this up, this is going to have a very unique uh, flair to it. Is this a $10 million car? Probably not. I think this thing's only worth like three or 400000 in the game. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this. Uh, clean this up real quick. Oh my goodness, I forgot how fast that was. Okay, <laughs> is it bad that I liked it when it looked dirty? Like, I liked the color a little bit better. Now it's just really bright. Like, honestly, the shine on it, though... That's impressive. That is probably the weirdest Ferrari I've ever seen. See, so yeah, over here, we got a Supra on the lot. Uh, we got some pretty decent cars. Let's move everything else over here. Uh, there's going to be some low-end cars to sell. And then, hopefully, unless there's an auction tomorrow or the marketplace, uh, we can open up fairly early. And we can get back to business. It's been a while since we've done some wheeling and dealing on cars. Okay, Mazda, I'm pretty sure I have you max upgraded. Let's top you off with fuel. I know there's probably somebody screaming at their phone and or tablet. Uh, enter, please. That, hey, you took forever to find this. Why would you get rid of it? But honestly, we don't have a garage or anything yet. That should be a thing. I need a personal garage. Uh, I'd feel a little bit more inclined to collect these. I just want to stick, since it's such a rare car, I'm going to stick a ridiculous price on it. Uh, that way we can get ourselves close to $10 million here. Uh, GTR stain though. I, I wouldn't get rid of my baby there. I love that thing. All right, let's clean this one off real quick. Uh, it is red. <laughs> very, very bright. It's amazing how dirty vehicles get in this game. I mean, if you gave me an option to have a, uh, a car wash here at my dealership, I feel like that would be honestly a cool thing to do. Which uh, I'm really... Whoa. Oh my goodness, this thing's a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's honestly a thing that I think would be... Like, it would send the game over the top, having, like, services inside of your dealership. Maybe even a mechanic shop. Uh, I feel like that'd be pretty awesome, too. All right, let's make sure everything's nice and clean here. Okay, I'm going to take some pictures and set some prices, and we should be uh, we should be good to go uh, for a sell tomorrow. So, real quick, the RX-7, you know, I thought it was cheaper than this. This thing could potentially go for $900,000. Uh, I need to get some pictures on it, but you know what? We're going to set a $900,000. That gets us... Uh, uh, one step closer to that 10 million I want. All right, so we got Teslas. There's quite a bit here. Uh, R7. 
Uh, we got that. We got the Ferrari. See, this is the one that kind of kills me. Yeah, well, I guess it's higher than I thought it was. I thought it was like three to 400. Uh, you can potentially get about 500,000 for this. That's good. Okay, just doing a friendly stroll through the neighborhood. Uh, we're right by the house, which by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned that. They moved the bus stop to the house. Uh, that was something that was much needed. I probably mentioned that last episode, uh, now that I think about it. It says I have a box truck somewhere. Okay, it's obviously not that one. Like, I don't know where it is on the map. I'm actually kind of curious about that. I was like, I own a box truck, uh, but according to the tablet, I do, and I don't know where I put it. Um, that's something. Maybe I left it at the car market or something. Uh, looking for some decent deals. Yeah, the neighborhood, they really need to change this thing up a bit. Like, I say that having a chance for a little bit more of a higher... I mean, they have the Supras and stuff. Here's a Tesla. Like, having the chance to have a little bit more higher-end car would be great. Uh, okay, so 44,000. Got a little damage. Uh, pretty high kilometers. But these things sell so good. Uh, I think maybe we can offer her... Would you do 36,000? I feel like that is a fair offer. Um, yep, there you go. Um, hold on, let's put fuel in it because that's the thing. And, uh, yeah, you need to go to the repair bay. All right, so we'll repair that in the morning. Oh, my goodness, is that it? How did it get over here? Um, okay, we do have our box truck. Uh, these things I don't think are worth that much money. Uh, I probably shouldn't even get rid of it. Let's just park it in our yard. How about that? Uh, will it save over there? Like, how did it get to this point? Did I buy it from this lot and it rolled back? Like, I, I'm honestly confused. Um, that's definitely strange. But you know what? We're going to park it in our uh, front lawn because uh, we're going to be those people. Hopefully, there's no HOA in this neighborhood. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I'm just park it right here. You know, I just hit the pole. How about how about that? Uh, on, park it right right up there. There we go. All right, shut it off. Uh, parking brake on. All right, uh, let's go to sleep and let's get to selling tomorrow. Unless there's a car marketplace. Okay, we have unpaid bills and no, there's nothing. Uh, well, I mean, we can look around the neighborhood real quick before we head to town. There was a cobalt over there. Uh, we need more trucks. Also, we need some more modern muscle. I'd like to see, uh, like a, maybe some of the newer Camaros. Uh, of course, we got the Mustang. Uh, there's a big pileup over here. Maybe the new Challenger. Uh, you got a Charger, even though it's got the weird, like, I don't like the grill that's on it. But how? How have you guys done this? Okay, well, I'm going to keep... Oh, never mind. I should probably ask, how did you guys do this? This is new levels of impressive here. How, how do we park like this? Okay. Um, also, what is this over here? Oh, we might have a car that we could potentially buy and take back to the lot and get to sell in here. Oh, yeah. No, this is a good car. Uh, so, it's the Mercedes. This is probably going to be fairly expensive. 66000 It's for high... Man, everything's damaged. It's got high miles out here. Uh, you're not getting that. Uh, you'd get 55000 out of me. Uh, you know, take that. That's a good deal. Boom. All right. So, take that. Um, we're going to go and, I guess, drive it. Yeah, I need a way to get to town. We'll just cut through the uh, thing here. It's fine. Shouldn't be a whole lot. Yeah, fifteen hundred bucks. Uh, let's get the cars nice and squeaky clean. The Supra is already dirty. Uh, everything's got to be clean here for the sale, especially the Mazda here. Wait, you are going for this Mercedes over here, huh? Let me let me clean it up for you. Uh, spray the customers off. Everybody's going over here. I mean, we going in all sorts of directions. Okay, let's start willing and dilling here. What do you got? Uh, I want this thing. I think I was offering 550. Uh, they do 429, which I'm honestly it's making over 100k. Uh, let's go a little higher. Would you go 475? I feel like 475 is a great price. Think about it. Oh my goodness, you just gave me all that extra money, you fool. All right, so it's the Supra, 120,000, 94,000. That's a good price that they're offering me. Would you do 105? Seems like I I could normally skirt around and get a little more money here. Uh, come on. There you go. All right. That's a good sell there. All right. Here's the Mazda. This is the big one. What are you going to offer me? I want 900,641. It's not a bad price. Would you do? If you do 700, I would sell this to you. Uh, it's quite a bit more money, but they made a good choice. Okay. 700. Uh, all right. Let's just get rid of the Tesla. I don't really care about this thing. Uh, it's not in great shape. 80,000. Would you do 53? 53 is still making money, which is kind of bad. Uh, would you do 60? Uh, give me 60 grand for this thing. We're willing and dealing right now. We're making money. Uh, boom. Sold it. All right, Mercedes time. Uh, 72,000 was my buy on it. I put 140,000 for sale. 105. Honestly, these are good cars to sell. Would you do 115? 
I think 115,000 is a fair price here. I'm not going to talk to the lady behind you. Uh, that's how confident I am that you're going to enjoy that vehicle. And then we have this R7. Uh, I put 70k on it. We bought it for 40. Ooh, that's not making a lot of money at all. Like, we're not even close. Let's try to find somebody else. I, I feel like we can get closer to 60 here. Uh, we got to make some money. 10k isn't much. Oh my goodness. Our, she just walked off. Uh, she was tired. I mean, this thing's really dirty right now. You probably could clean it real quick. And, what the? Why did everybody walk off there? Like, did I... Do I have bad breath or something? Okay, well, it needed to be cleaned anyway. So, let's just get that taken care of. There you go. Make sure it's nice and squeaky for the next fool to come by it. All right, let's move our other cars over, and then we need to get this Mercedes uh, into the repair bay. And, yeah, I think we're going to have to wait for a car market to be able to push this over the 10 million mark. Like, I don't understand how I still have this car over here. It's cheap. I mean, I guess I'm being a little too picky as far as my price for it. 70 k I paid 40 But you gave me, like, I don't know, 50, 53 Okay, you know what? Let's bargain. Would you do 60 do 60 and you can take this thing off my hands and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, boom. Okay, so we're only, I mean, it's a lot of money. Uh, we're over a million dollars away, but I think if we can get a car market, uh, we will be in really good shape. Let me go ahead and move these uh, turds over here to the uh, lot. And then uh, also says, uh, wait, did I not actually pay those bills? I guess I didn't. All right, so let's move these on. I need to clean them up. Uh, not gonna worry about doing any more work to these things. Okay, so there's definitely a bug because I just hit pay bills again and it did nothing. Uh, there's no money like to pay, so uh, I think the dev fixed something and then we might have potentially broken something. I mean, as long as the repo man doesn't come and take my cars, I'm fine. Uh, if it says that up in the top left, it's a little annoying, but it's, it's okay. So by the way, here's the end of the day report. Uh, we made over a million bucks. We did good today. Uh, if we could do another day similar to this, uh, we will be at that $10 million. Mmm, you guys smell that? That's the smell of car deals in the morning. Here we are at the car marketplace. I am hyped because I feel like we're going to make the money that we need to make. So, got a Mustang here. Mileage is okay. $27,000. That's actually a good price. Uh, would you do 20,000? Actually, 22. I don't want to offend you. 22,000. Give me 5k off. We'll call it. Boom. I made a good choice. First car already bought here. Uh, take you to the repair bay. We got a Chevelle. This is a good car. There's an R8 here. Great car to sell. Another Tesla. The Teslas off the car marketplace are really good because they're low. Well, they're somewhat low mileage. Depends on which one you find. Uh, the auction's even better. Uh, is this... Wait, which one's this? This is a Fiat. How much was this one worth again? All right, so they want a lot. So obviously this thing's going to get me some money. Would you do 200000 on it? Would you give me 40000 off? I feel like that's insane if you accept it. They're thinking. Oh, my goodness. Okay, forty. Like, who has a, a price like that in mind and goes, Oh, man, I have a $240,000 car, but I'll give you 40000 off. That's somebody that's desperate to sell. Also, what? Wait a minute. Look at these rims. I don't think I've ever seen wheels this dirty. This kind of looks like the parts that they were going to introduce in the Junkyard update. I wonder if that's, like, did that slip into the game? Hold on, we need to buy this car. Uh, can I even clean those wheels? Uh, all right, so this is a good car, by the way. I mean, it's not going to make a ton of money. Also, she will not even, like, look up at me. Uh, I want to make a deal with you, lady. Uh, how about $50,000? Would you do that? I want to see if we can clean those rims. Uh, she's thinking about the price. Got a great deal. Thank you. Um, man, that is... Can I do that here? Huh? Does that clean... It's, look, they don't even clean up. It's definitely like the damaged parts that you would see at the at the junkyard. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be a thing here soon. So, you'll be able to, like, replace parts off the cars. These are the dirtiest wheels I've ever seen. All right, so make sure it's got fuel. Tow spot. Um, I do want the Chevelle. Uh, I kind of want the Tesla, too. Uh, hold on. Let's go for the big boy real quick. The R8. Uh, this is a, a showstopper and a moneymaker right here. They want 666, or 660,000, I should say. You're not going to get that. Would you give me 60,000 off of this thing? Uh, it does have a little bit of damage. Um, yep, there we go. Uh, yes, we have bought the car. Put some fuel in it. All right, take it to the tow spot. Uh, Chevelle Han, how much is this one compared to the Tesla? I, I think I'd only take one of these back. 120,000. Yeah, this is probably the one we need to go after. Would you give me uh, 20,000 off? I don't even look at the expertise, and I know if somebody's new to the series goes, Komodo, why do you ignore that? It costs so much money to do that, and, like, I don't think the payoff's big enough for it. I know it kind of sounds bad. Uh, like, you can totally just lowball the person, and, yeah, you don't have to worry about anything. Like, you're going to make your money off of it. 
So that's like a, a system that I think needs a little bit of like a, a revisement because yeah, that it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. All right, let's go and start pulling these cars in. Oh yeah, we got a lot to work on here. All right, so we got to start the cycle of getting everything uh, repaired, upgraded. Uh, we'll definitely upgrade the main cars as far as performance upgrades. Uh, all right, this one's ready to be moved. Uh, let's go ahead. Is this our drift kit one? I think it is. Uh, we'll probably just paint this one real quick and clean it up and stick it on the lot. Oh my goodness, do not send it off into the garage. Uh, that would be a, a bad there. Uh, really? A truck pulls in right? Wait, where did it even come from? Come on, man. All right, finally our turn. Jeez. Uh, all right, so I want to get this thing painted. Uh, let's do... Shall we do like a yellow? It kind of looks more like a gold. Uh, let's go ahead and smooth this up. Man, that smoothness and the metallic is like... Does the metallic even... Oh my goodness, it's so bright. Sure, let's do that. All right, so we got that thing. Um, it is ugly. It looks gold-plated. You know what I saw, actually, the other day? I saw a... Uh, it was a C7 Corvette, and somebody had wrapped it in gold. Except for the hood. The hood was black. And it was the most ugly thing I think I've ever seen. Like, I, I still don't... I don't quite understand that. Why would somebody wrap it up like that? Uh, by the way, I need to get in over there. Oh, somebody's over there at the repair shop. Uh, hold on. Let's do this one real quick. Can we replace these wheels? Or did... Is it, like, gonna be something that's broken? Because these are definitely junk wheels. Like, these would have come from the junkyard. Uh, if you've seen the picture on the uh, update on Steam, it shows similar wheels. So, hold on. Let's put a racing kit. Go ahead and upgrade it. So, wheels. Is there an option for dirty wheels like this? So, if I change... Okay, it actually changes them. Ooh, those black wheels actually look pretty good. Oh, my goodness. That is a new glitch. I have... I Was that perfect timing that I sent this over to the lift? Uh, wait, what happens when... Uh-oh, we've got to watch this. I feel like there's going to be an explosion of fun here. Oh, it dropped a car. Uh, well, I mean, technically, it's is it here? Does it count being here? There's not a problem with the car. Oh, no, there's definitely a problem with it now. Uh, I can't even move it onto the lift. Wait, what? What do you mean? This car had damage, did it not? Well, it should have damage now. You know, I guess we're just going to take it over there and sell it. Uh, we're going to sell this one as is. Watch out, everybody. Going to back up across the thing. Oh, now it's got damage. Yeah. Moto damaged the back fender. I will just say it's had a little love with it. You know, it's like somebody's really, really used this thing. Okay, I think I have the last car here. I, I bet you there's going to be an auction tomorrow. Which, by the way, they fixed the glitch where you can look through. At least last time I tried it, uh, you couldn't look in to see what special car was going to be there. All right, so I'm going to list these. We will uh, we'll sell them tomorrow. I'm going to go and close up the office. I need to clean these things, too. Okay, so we, are, uh, we have a car auction today. So we're going to go ahead and do some sales beforehand. Come on, I need to get to that $10 million. Uh, I'm sure there'll be something that's really worth it in the auction. All right, so they're thinking 77000 This is something I paid fifty for. Um, I think you could do better than that. Would you do at 85000 I, I feel like that's a fair price. Uh, take it off my hands, please. And boom. Okay, so we got that one up. There's trash on here. I don't really even know if that affects the values of the car. I'm going to assume that it does somewhat. All right, so here's the big gold, ugly, uh, gold-plated turd of a Mercedes here. $140,000. Uh, they're thinking one eleven. I make actually quite a bit of money off this. Would you do one twenty five? dollars I think one twenty five is a good price, right? All right. Oh, I need to think. Oh, no, you don't have to think. Just pay the money for it. There you go. I uh, got a Mustang uh, over here. This is actually a pretty sweet looking uh, car. Uh, they say forty five. dollars I mean, come on. You could do better. I'm thinking at least sixty. dollars uh, Do sixty for it. I don't think they're going to take this offer. Just you watch. Uh, can you lower it? Nope, Nora, uh, we're not selling that to you. You can just go away. All right, Chevelle, it's a classic, hundred fifty thousand. I know it's a little high on the da on the uh, the price there. They'll do one hundred three. That no, I don't. You're not even close. I'm not gonna make anything off of that. Uh, come on, somebody's gonna pay good money for this. Let's see, one sixteen. Still not making a whole lot. Would you do one thirty? Uh, I think one thirty is about my my low price on this one. Boom. Okay, they did one thirty. It's good. All right, we got the Mustang here. Uh, come on, we can make a little bit more here. 55, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, would you do 60? 60 will put me at my comfort price on this. Boom. And, yep, triple check. Do whatever you need to do. Somebody needs to buy this R8. Uh, which one are you? Wait, these guys are, like, inside of each other. Uh, I put 900,000. They only want to offer me, oh, 762. No, that's not very good. Uh, I feel like... This thing is worth more money. Would you do eight twenty five? Would you give me a hundred thousand more dollars, essentially? Uh, what is he thinking? Come on, come on! I can't believe he just gave me a hundred thousand more. All right, that's definitely worth it now. Uh, we got this uh, Fiat here. I've got a price of four ten on it. 
Uh, he's not anywhere close uh, unless he adds like an extra 100000 to that price. Come on, prices bother me. Would you 302? What is wrong with you people? I mean, it's making almost $100,000. Would you do 350? Come on, give me 350000 for this thing. Uh, I'm thinking you made a really good choice. Uh, this one will do 41. Okay, would you bargain up to 45 with me? Just give me a little bit of extra cash on this one. And yes, boom. All right, we sold that. All right, so we're about 450000 away. Uh, from being at our 10 million goal. Let's go over to the auction and see if we can wrap this up here. Man, it's been a while since I've seen this thing. All right, let's go in. First thing I see, it looks like a, a Chevy Trailblazer. Um, I, yeah, I have no interest in this car. <laughs> we'll wait for the higher end ones. All right, we have kind of a dirty Dodge Charger. Man, this uh, auction's been kind of disappointing so far. Also, for selling something at auction, that is really dirty. Like, just spray it off or something. You know, make it look presentable when you try to get people to pay money for it. Oh, would you look at that? There's a Porsche here. That's actually awesome. All right, so we're, we're going to bid on this one. Uh, I don't think it's going to push us over where we need to be. That's the only sad thing. Uh, I want to be at 10 million. That is my goal. Okay, they're really, really ticking me off here. Come on, why do you keep bidding? I know I'm doing like the lowest bid possible. Uh, oh my goodness, all right, we'll do a mid-tier bid. It's uh, 195,000, low mileage on this Porsche. You're gonna make your money. And, oh, we got another Mustang. Why is that one like 20 feet off the ground? I mean, if we get it at a reasonable price, worth it. The auction has been a little disappointing though, because I don't think this is enough car here uh, to get over where we want to be. Yep, we're gonna win the Mustang, so. Yeah, that kind of sucked, honestly. I mean, the Porsche is good. Uh, with these cars, I'm just going to put fuel in them and clean them up and put them on the lot because normally they're in decent shape from the old auction. Uh, but I don't think that is uh, going to be over 600000 or closer to 700000 worth of car there. Uh, wait, where did I place these? Oh, did I put them? I might have put them in the repair bay. Oops, my bad. Meant to put them in the tow area. All right, well, I mean, we got a couple cars here. Not enough <laughs> to be worth it, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe we'll uh, get a car marketplace on there tomorrow. And I can just go quickly grab, like, a couple high-end vehicles and just straight up flip them. Okay, so we're opening up our office. Uh, I actually went to the car marketplace and picked up a couple deals. And, yeah, we're just going to straight up flip these. Uh, not going to really put a bunch of money into them. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it for a couple of these cars that I bought. But I'm wondering if this is it. Is this going to push us over to where we need to be? Got to clean up everything over here. Uh, this place is filthy. All right, let's get to work here. All right, so we got a Tesla here. Just straight up flip. Ask an 80 for it. Uh, I think they would do 70. I, 80 is obviously high for this thing. Would you do 70 for me? Uh, come on. There you go. You did get a great deal. Uh, all right, so here's the Fiat. I picked this up at the marketplace. Put 370 on it. Uh, only paid 185. Eh, that's a little low. Uh, would you do 325 on it? Huh? Is that... That might be asking too much. Uh, either that or I'm going to go with the next person. I can pay. No, 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 no. We're not. We're not there. All right. Let's go to the next one. I mean, I get that I haven't like fully. I mean, actually, there's nothing wrong with this thing. Uh, can you lower it to 320? Are you insane? Uh, get away. All right. Porsche buyer. This guy looks like he wants a Porsche. I'm asking, what is it? 350 for it. Paid 195. Uh, no. They, wow. Everybody's getting really, really stingy today, aren't they? I would do 300,000 on this. Take it or leave it. Oh, I need to think. Come on, at least give me something here. Seems high. Everybody that's come to my dealership today is really picky. And we're not even close on the price. All right, so got a Mustang. It's uh, got only asking uh, 70000 for it. All right, that would make me 10000 Would you do 50 k for this thing? Feeling kind of desperate to sell some cars here today. Come on. Uh, I'm starting to fear that we're not going to get to our goal of that $10 million. Okay, so this is for the Fiat. Would you do 310000 Come on, give me something here. 310, okay, that's good. All right, maybe we can do this. There's a lot of people around this Ferrari. I mean, somebody would just hand me 600 grand for it. I'd be really happy. Uh, 427, ooh, that's just not. I mean, it's making 100,000, which is really, you know, pretty good. Would you do 480,000 for me? Would you negotiate to that? I'm thinking, I hope you'd be satisfied. Okay, we're getting close here. Here's the Porsche 350 on it. Come on, get me to the where I need to be moment. No, that is not, that's not good. Um, would you do 300,000 on it? Uh, 300, oh, not 30. 30,000 would be really bad. 300,000. Price is bothering me. It's too high. All right, well, we're not going to be able to talk. I need to find somebody who's going to pay like closer to 300K for this Porsche. 
Uh, it's in pretty good shape. It's just slightly dirty. That's it. All right, let's bargain. 300000 Come on. Somebody's going to take this bargain at some point. Uh, price is bothering me. Nope. Okay, we'll get away. Okay, so they want to get rid of this Tesla for 55 You know what? I will do it for 60 I need to get this thing moved off a lot. Don't think I'm going to get much more for it. Uh, boom. Yep, we're stuck with one car, and I have to make over three hundred grand in order to make this work, which I don't think that's going to be a thing here. Uh, 248. Would you do... Hold on. Would you do... I think it's, what, 302? Would you do 302,000? Come on. Just give me this one thing. No! I'm going to be very, very stern on this. Like, I need that to reach my goal. So somebody can pay that. I can spray it off a little more if you want me to. Uh, somebody's going to do this. Okay, look, I just cleaned up the final couple spots on this. Let's negotiate here. It's a 100% clean car. Uh, it's just got... I mean, it's even low miles once you think about it. Uh, 302 is my uh, firm offer here. 302,000. Come on. Uh, it's bothering you. No, nope. okay, we're not there. Uh, let's go with the businessman in the suit. He's gonna pay this for it, right? Uh, oh, I need to think. No, you don't. Oh my goodness, that is a horrible price. Get off my lot, Mr. Businessman. Oh my goodness, we don't have many more opportunities here. Somebody get me to the 10. 220. What is wrong with you people? This is a clean Porsche. 302 is a steal for this. Uh, no. <laughs> Somebody, I've got like probably a minute left or a minute and a half left in the day. I'm going to have to get rid of this thing. Uh, it's kind of breaking my heart here that nobody wants to pay me the money I want to uh, be paid because I deserve this. Think about it. Think about it. Oh my goodness. Uh, anybody else want to come do this? No, nope, we are going to wind up being short. So would you take 275? I feel like 275 is pretty close to the price that we would need to be, right? So bargain 275. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna feel like a failure here, ain't I? Uh, Bacon, you made a good choice. Look at that, we are short by like what, twenty-seven thousand uh, dollars? Well, really twenty-six. You know what? That was successful enough. I feel like we did it here today. If you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. We'll see you guys next time.